with the attendant problems that are br that brought about by supply chain problems, uh, by supply problems, uh, that f uh, food supply must first be um, guaranteed uh, within the country. So, and uh, the large part also that the uh, food uh, commodities, uh, agricultural commodities, plays in our inf in the inflation picture. The, the, the contribution of, uh, of uh, uh, agri commodities to the total inflation rate uh, is, is still significant. And that's why we have, to, we have to assure our people that there will be a supply and therefore we will be able to hold prices at the level that is affordable by everyone. Thank you, sir. And sir, if I may, Senator um, Recto po. I thus call up upon everyone to support our new secretaries as they assume these critical roles in the government. Let us join hands and uh, build a future where economic prosperity is shared by all, where opportunities abound, and where the Philippines stands tall on the global stage. Thank you very much and uh, good afternoon. Okay. Uh, are there, do we open the floor to... Uh, all right. Let's uh, take some uh, take some questions from the from the members of the press. Thank you, Mr. President. And now we open the floor to some questions from the media, starting with Alan Francisco of PTV4. Hi, Mr. President. Everyone, magandang hapon po. Yeah, sir. Um, why change horses in midstream? Ano po sa palagay niyo yung offer ni Secretary Recto sa table? Um, sa pangalawang taon po ninyo sa pwesto bilang Pangulo ng Bansa? We are not changing horses in midstream. Uh, we are continuing the policies that we had laid out from the beginning. Uh, it would be, it would be uh, uh, I, I would think, poor judgment on, the part, on our part, uh, having seen the effects of uh, the changes in policy, the changes in structure, uh, uh, in, as you would say, to change them in the, in the middle. Uh, of our progress and we are making uh, such good progress but uh, it uh, again uh, it was uh, just time uh, for secretary Ben Jokno he felt that it was time for him to return to uh, his natural habitat if you will uh, in the Banco Central and in the monetary board uh, in terms of in terms of what the uh, uh, Secretary Ralph has to offer. Uh, I think there is no need to enumerate that. His experience as NEDA head and his experience in the legislature. Uh, I really, well, what, what I said uh, very quickly in my statement is that he has always been the, the lead. Um, he's doing the same job uh, in the House. So it is something that uh, we know we we have seen him uh, we have seen him perform, and it is something he has a true understanding of the economy. He has a true understanding of how our our the Philippine economy works, and uh, I think uh, that is uh, the quality that he will bring to this. And uh, the we have so many uh, new new uh, ideas and. Uh, uh, new commitments that we have taken on uh, so that uh, for, for the improvement of the economy. And I think uh, that uh, uh, secretary, now secretary, that we, are, that we still need uh, for the transformation of the Philippine economy. So uh, the policies remain the same. Uh, the fiscal discipline will remain the same. Uh, however, uh, we are again remain the same. Uh, however, uh, we are again, as I said, uh, looking to see if there are any new uh, ways to handle that. And I would still had hope for Secretary Ben Jokno to continue in that. Comes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Raquel Bayan, Radio Pilipinas. Good afternoon, sir. To afternoon. Um, President Marcus, sir, do you have a specific project or um, um, program in mind that you expect to achieve or implement faster and better with the Secretary um, Recto in the DOF? 
Ah, it's uh, what, what the, you have been reading on mine. We actually sat down just a few days ago and put made a list of priorities in terms of specific projects, in terms of the development of uh, the uh, proposals that were made during the trips that we, we made abroad. Uh, so yes, there are very specific, there's not just one, there are several. And in fact, I'm meeting with the economic team right after this to explain exactly what those are and how we, we intend to proceed. Uh, those, uh, those projects will be prioritized in, that, uh, in the sense that I have asked Secretary uh, Deco, uh, I have said that these are, the, these are the areas that we absolutely have to get done so that we can continue on this path that we have been uh, on for the last uh, year and a half uh, in the improvement and the transformation of the economy. Thank you, sir. And Ma sir Maha Maha it's not a small list either. <laughs> All right, sir. And then, sir, uh, mananatili po ba yung food security bilang top agenda ng Marcos administration with um, Secretary Go along with the handling of inflationary pressures po? Well, that they still, they, 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 any, any uh, uh, grow the economy out of that debt we are we have moved uh, in that certainly in that direction and that is why with the new remains critical uh, these are the lessons learned from the pandemic economy uh, that food supply must be guaranteed so that whatever happens say uh, if, if they uh, god forbid there be another pandemic or any such uh, um, such shock uh, to the to the global economy uh, with the with the attendant problems that are br that brought about by supply chain problems uh, by supply problems uh, that f uh, food supply must first be um, guaranteed uh, within the country. So, and uh, the large part also that the uh, food uh, commodities uh, agricultural commodities plays in our inf in the inflation picture. The, the, the contribution of, uh, of uh, uh, agri commodities to the total inflation rate uh, is, is still significant. And that's why we have to, we have to assure our people that there will be a supply and therefore we will be able to hold prices at the level that is affordable by everyone. Thank you, sir. And sir, if I may, kay Senator um, Recta po. I guess Senator Secretary Rectopo. Sir, um, are we going to continue what um, Secretary Jokna started or should we expect um, reforms under your leadership in the OF? Well, essentially, you have the National Development Plan to follow mm -hmm. and the chief architect of that is the president. Mm -hmm. You have the macro fiscal framework and there is a plan, there is a roadmap that essentially we will continue. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, now we have Jinky Baticados of IBC 13. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, everyone. Um, this question is for Secretary uh, Recto. Sir, um, following your appointment po as Finance Secretary, what is your first order of the day po? Uh, number one is to collect for next year, I think, 4.3 trillion in taxes. 3 trillion with the BIR, 1 trillion with the BOC, and I think the Treasury is about 300 billion. Uh, so it's all about fiscal sustainability. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you have a national development plan to fund. Mm -hmm. uh, incidentally, we will be borrowing 2.7 trillion next year. So every night when I wake up in the morning, dapat uh, collect more or less 20 billion to fund uh, the, all, the, uh, all the needs of our people and the, mm -hmm. the requirements of government. So, uh, and to make sure that those, that money is spent wisely. Uh, the idea is to stretch every peso. Uh, uh, including uh, acting faster on investment, uh, particularly the president has just signed the new PPP law. Mm -hmm. uh, that will free up government resources for social services, uh, investments also in uh, creating more jobs for our country. Sir, sorry, I have to ask this question, although the president told us that we, he doesn't want to preempt you. But, sir, um, do you plan to impose new taxes po under your watch? There are already existing revenue measures that the House has passed and the president has certified as urgent. Uh, we will make sure that the Senate will be able to pass the same. Okay. 
Sir, lastly po, will you be implementing changes such as... Uh, oh. <laughs> and that was during the height of the globe. I think we came out uh, unscathed at that time.